So I'm assuming you're horrible at rivals and can't manage to get a win streak higher than five before some sweaty tryhard with aim lock comes and ends you. Well, thankfully, I'm here to fix that. So you want to see yourself on this leaderboard. That way you can get a massive ego boost and call all your friends bad, right? Well, it's not going to be as easy as you think it is. I'll be going over some skills that are easier than others and some that might be a huge challenge. But before we get into this, let's go into some of the basic streak boosting tips. To get a stupidly big streak, you first need to know the gun's game mechanics. Yes, I just now noticed this while editing. Okay, I, I meant the game's gun mechanics, obviously. And I hate to say it, but this game is very 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 pay to winnable winnable is that even a word i don't know but anyways there are a few items well a lot more than a few items that will give you advantages above any possible skill you can apply so if you're rich then well i guess just buy all this shit right here that i think we both know is not purchable with keys because like who the hell is gonna save up damn near 1,000 keys that would take months that we clearly do not have and once you've spent your life savings on these lego guns you'll have no problem going at high streaks. Apart from the pay to win guns, fortunately for us brokies, there are some guns that are obtainable or free. And this is where gun combos come in handy. For example, if you have a sniper, running the Uzi as a secondary would fulfill both needs. You would have damage, range, and fire rate, which are the three basics you want out of a gun combo. Or for the people who like to spam arena like me, the perfect secondary is the shorty. Shorta? The perfect secondary is the shorty, AKA the annoying ass f***ing shotgun that for some reason can one tap. If you're close enough, that is least and though this is highly unlikely the shorty packs a huge punch especially when mixed with a medium range rifle like scar which is actually pretty good surprisingly even for a starter gun it's pretty good now that you understand the three essentials of gun combos let's go over by far one of the most important tips in this entire video don't be a dumbass Plain and simple, pick your battles wisely. If you see an idiot with a 90% win streak in some semi brand new account, maybe don't fight them then, cause they either haven't seen grass in six months or they have aim lock. You can avoid players like this by double clicking their profiles where you can check out how many wins they have, their win percentage, and the guns they use most often. On uh, bringing us back a few minutes, if you see someone who only runs pay to win guns, definitely stay away. And start talking in the chat, obviously. No, I'm joking. Please don't do that. Right, now you can reach higher streaks like 10. And if you're lucky, maybe even up to 20. But how are you supposed to surpass that? Well, it's really not that hard. All you need is a little movement here and there, and you'll be set to level up. Movement is arguably 30% of the game. So if you can conquer that, you'll be ready to take on any sweaty tryhard you come across. So how can you accomplish this? Let's start off with flying. Yes, there is a way to fly in this game, and it's really not that hard. All you need is a frag grenade, or if you want to get fancier, you can buy an RPG or even a grenade launcher. And once you've done that, hold your frag grenade down right when the round starts. And yes, this game is highly unrealistic, and for some reason, you can simply... Alright, just hold up. I that one up. This game is highly unrealistic, and for some reason, you can casually blow yourself up pieces and nothing happens. Then get on this ramp right here and simply slide and jump, and you'll be in the air like a goddamn seagull who just got his wing shot in no time. Once you're in the air, you can jump your opponent, or if he's not on the opposite ramp as you, scout out the rest of the map and find a way to sneak up on him. For those of you who aren't arena sweats, go ahead and hold your frag up and just jump. You won't fly nearly as high, but at least we'll go in the air. This method also works in any rooftop and any other map, as long as you slide and jump. Next up for movement. Something you should get good at is slide jumping. What exactly is slide jumping? It's something that will dramatically improve your movement abilities and of course, most importantly, your ego. So how do you do it you ask? Well, it's very simple. Just run slump, lump, and slump, I mean slide. Run, slide, then jump. When slide jumping, you're going faster, meaning it's also harder to get hits on you. This can be used in any maps, but but for the purpose of boasting, I'm I'm gonna show you this on Arena. All right, I have to redo this movement tutorial because my dumbass was not recording audio. Yes, I know. I have an alt account, okay? I'm not using it to farm, I swear. Let's start off with the grenade fly thing. Yeah, there it is. There it is in action, like I was talking about earlier. The grenade fly thing, that's what I'm gonna call it. Pretty much, you can do that by just holding down the grenade and letting it blow up and slide jumping, just like that. Oh uh, yes, slide jumping. It's pretty easy, you just hit C and space in your keyboard, or whatever crouch your crouch key is. And as you can see, it makes you go faster, slightly faster. Another thing I wanted to go over was jumping further off these ramps. You can actually jump, slide jump way further off these ramps, people think. This is a normal slide jump off the ramp, right? And as you can see, we went decently far, you know? It gets you pretty high in there, you know? You can get over to like these pillars, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you can do some cool movements around and dodge bullets. But what people don't tell you is you can actually slide jump off the corner and it'll bring you over to this pillar right here. So you go way further and that's honestly all you need, but it's not easy to do, okay? You got, you got to get some movement going first, get some speed going. If you don't have speed, you won't be able to do it. 
There we go. As you can see, first try. And I honestly think this is broken because can't stress enough. Always switching up your tactics every round. Like, you can't just grenade and fly thing every single time or they're going to expect it and shoot you out of the air. So maybe instead of like grenade fly thinking every time, you can like, or say for example, you run right every time, right? You know, they're going to expect you to go right and they're going to set up a pre-planned maneuver and probably pre-fire the f*** at you. So maybe like one left, one round, do a grenade jump. And yes, you can actually grenade jump from the ground up to these pillars. Obviously, I can't do it now because I don't have a grenade, but yeah, it's very doable. So maybe just switch it up every now and then, you know, maybe do the grenade thing here instead of on the ramp. But that is pretty much all I have for movement, to be honest. Now that we've completed movement, let's go on to some of the dirtier ways you can get a streak. The first method really isn't that bad, to be honest. If you want a high streak, simply just find low-level players that have no clue what they're doing. And trust me, there is no shortage. So you'll go into a match and they'll be clueless and you can just repeat. Next up, this is by far the dirtiest method and honestly, I don't know if this is bannable so don't do it. Freak farming. That's right. If you have absolutely no life, you can farm streaks all day. This is easy to do. All you need is an alt account, and well, the rest is pretty predictable. I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to do it because, well, I don't really want to get banned, but yeah, now that I've showed you the ropes, let's jump into a real match. Now let's get into a real match. Okay, let's see this guy. Let's go up against this guy. This is just some random ass guy. Okay. Oh my god, we got dots! Well, I haven't played Docs in a while, so I don't know how this is going to go, to be completely honest. This guy also has aim assist. He's on controller. Okay, nice. We got a hit in him. He doesn't seem to be the smartest person. He is using a shotgun. And an Uzi. Oh my god, that is the most annoying combo ever. Shotgun and an Uzi. We just got to stay far away from him. Maybe fine. Oh, he disconnected. He gave up. Why do they always give up, dude? <laughs> you wanted docs, bro, not me. Let's find somebody else. Maybe on PC without aim assist. Look it, they just run away from me. Hey, dude, holy... <laughs> Long enough. No, not docs. Docs again. Why do they always choose docs? There's like no movement in this map at all. We hit him with a grenade. Oh, look at my beautiful aim. Come here, buddy. I'm gonna hit you with my shotgun. Alright. I feel bad, so we're gonna katana him. Oh, he disconnected. Great. There we go. We found somebody else, finally. Hopefully, this guy doesn't leave this time. We got a Reno, finally, though, so I can show you guys some actual, like, decent movement. Where are you, buddy? Oh, my God. Can I get somebody not stupid? Well, I guess we'll screw around with the sniper since this guy isn't the smartest. Oh, poor guy. Oh, he fell right, right into the trap. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I know this video probably didn't perform that well because I mainly do aftermath content. But if you enjoyed it and thought it was good, at least leave a comment down below and subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. And thank you for watching. Peace.